Okie dokie everyone. So, uh, we are going to bend this. This is a cover, so this was a plain sheet of aluminium. And we did this holes here, this for the... What is this one for? Thermostat. So you aren't going to use a thermostat? It's for the connection of the resistors. Mm, okay. Old habits. <laughs> so this is for the connection of the resistors. This will be for the screws to nevel the plates. So this is a cover we have to do for the heated plates. So we are actually capable to bend the three millimeter here. Okay. So let's get to it. So this is the heated plates. So we got our resistors in um, underneath these aluminium um, plates over here because you have to apply pressure to the resistor or else when it heats up it will just open up okay so you always have to put something compressing the resistor so our resistors are here we've got the cables we got our mica insulators that will withstand like i think that's 800 yeah. degrees yeah. Cel between yeah. almost a thousand yeah. degrees celsius yeah. these insulators amazing i have to get them made especially in asia and um, now to cover it all up the aluminium cover we just bended which was not easy now we just have to give a little trimming, trimming on the edges the just heat it a little bit with the rubber hammer here we'll have our connections for the resistors we used to use thermostats but now we're using thermostats. thermostats i don't know how you say it in english so it's a thermostat yeah Simo, Simo, <laughs> and our thermometer, which is adjustable. So we have to see what temperature we put it to a temperature. We have to measure it with something else, another thermometer, and uh, make sure that this is on the right temperature. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get proper thermometers. Unfortunately, still looking. Okay, so we got here yeah, a new machine project. Um, this will be a rotary table. So we'll have four workstations that will go round and round like a carousel. This will be quite cool. Our frequency filter so that it doesn't backfire into the um, feeding cable. Our hydraulic pump. It has a hydraulic cylinder. Um, so got to get it ready for the paint. It's already ready for paint, so now I just have to insulate everything. Um, really cleaned it yesterday, it's been one whole day cleaning with petrol and thinners and putting everything, you know, uh, ungreased because it's had a lot of grease. Got to change the um, oil. It's not a gearbox, okay, it's a, called an index uh, table box. Because it stops um, in a certain angle, okay. So it doesn't select gears. The speed is done by the electric motor, which is controlled by the variator, okay. Um, regulator. You can regulate the speed digitally. So yes, also have to get this motor out and paint it up. So let's get to it. Then we got our generator got our generator I put some cement here already but I have to apply more now because uh, it really soaked up a little bit um, that mark of oil that was there and now it's dried up you see it turns into dust and now I clean and apply another layer of cement and it's good to go uh, so today I bought a special paper just for this purpose this is a So this is, I got all the paint and I got the, I had to take these parts of the machine so I could see what type of paint it was going to be and the color. Okay. Um, also got some in, more insulation tape and got this paper. Uh, it's quite thick. It's like cord, uh, it's not cardboard, it is like a very thin cardboard, you know. Uh, like the ones you use in school 
Um, this is a new type of paint that I'm going to test it out. Uh, looks quite interesting. Called Gator. So you get whatever color you want it then you can get it. You can even get like metallic, whatever. Um, so we got a blue metallic and a gray. But also have a hammerite gray here. So I can paint some other parts. So I have a plan. And once it's finished, then you guys will see how it stays. I think uh, it will be quite cool. And then they had some on sale. Also other paints. So this is, I buy this all at Sin. C-I-N. It's just a make that's right there. Um, sometimes they have promotion paints. So I also bought this. Good for the garden projects and outdoor projects. Actually, I haven't showed you guys here the, the carport that we got here. <laughs> okay, quite cool carport. Um, this will come very in handy because we can just go right through the door, you know, without getting rain. And uh, we are growing. So, then I also got this paint here which is a silicone based paint for the sandwich um, ceilings that I don't have trimming like those ones they all have the trimming you see but uh, I can't waste money right now on the trimming but I have to insulate the ceiling that's on the other um, parts of the house so I'm going to use this right here going to try out this make normally I use a, a better make but for this I think it will work it is um, it also has fiber, so I think this will work. Uh, what else do I have for you guys? That's about it. So, yes. Got the generator right here of the machine. This is the generator. I'm still making the cage for the gas bottles to get them out of here, outside. Um, that's why I have no plugs here, no lights on this part. Because there's gas here, I didn't bring the electricity to this side. Because I had to finish the cage, the caging. Uh, to put these bottles, so I'm going to make like a simple, not so high, um, little house for the gas bottles, maybe like this high. So I'm going to make the cage. Could probably start it out with this, you know. I, I could just use the side and the back part, cut this, and um, leave the separator in the middle, so we can have one bottle, two bottles. Because they will like one bottle will come here, another one there. Probably would work, but it's also quite big. I think I'm making something smaller. But I'm not going to abandon this idea of using this. Hmm. Because in here I was thinking then using this put a shelf um, and put here then stuff for like charging phones or whatever you know because this is the entrance so that should be cool to put like a, a little table station you know probably just will take this and transform it for the bottles uh, reinforce it but at least i have all the squaring angles you know what i mean so i think that's a plan and this i gotta get it painted here's our generator Okay, so I gotta get all this reconditioned and modified. And yes, let's go. We also got here our big uh, high voltage transformer, um, anti flare circuit. Which, if you guys go see the previous videos, you'll see that it um, looks like an old machine that I reconditioned, like old school. And um, You'll know when I say these words, you'll understand more or less what it is. So here we got our. This is just for the, for the supply of the triode that goes in here. Tube, electron tube. Okay, that goes in here. Um, actually, goes through the front here. This comes out and we put it through the front. Then I'll show you guys all the more detailed stuff. I think you guys will find it quite interesting. Okay, let's go. So yes the this one is exactly the same color because we can't get this type of texture in paint shops anymore only hammerite is doing this type of paints we used to call the hammer paints 
Um, now only Hammerite is doing it, so unfortunately we can't get it. Only by this make. Um, quite expensive, but what can you do? Um, the fact is this, is that the painting, I have to always like get it done outside. So I am going to invest um, in a painting booth. So we can start doing all the paint stuff inside. One of those um, blue ones like um, that are inflatable, like, you know, you see a lot in YouTube. Um, so we can start doing all these paints because I, I know how to paint and I'd like to start doing it even for video content. I think it would be quite cool, you know. And all the work of like getting this outside so that someone else can do the paints is quite a hassle so yes um it will fit outside perfectly the whole tent it will be like outside i have a lot of space for it um and it has filters anti-pollution everything so that would be very nice uh, i'm ready just checking online see what i can get and as soon as um i get it then i'll also um show that to you guys and yes Start doing everything indoor, everything. Looks like nothing but quite still a bit of uh, electronics going on on these machines, you know. And uh, haven't even shown you guys like the computer side of everything. Like we also do the, um, um, all the, you know, the, what do you call it? Automators, you know, all the PLCs and everything. So, um, when machines need a whole P PLC like program and everything brand new and everything, we also do it. So we tr we get into everything, you know. <laughs> so to do this job, you have to know a bit of everything. You have to know how to do a bit of everything. Um, that's why I think in future I'll always have like cool content for you guys for the Daily Life Projects channel. Okay, let's go. Yes. Just arrived. more stuff to do on the cars <laughs> okay you know you can always reuse all this recycle everything you know even the plastic bags so we got to get oil for the jeep and the uh, transactor when we need another one because it's so cheap um, Vaveline. I've never used this one. Let's see how it goes. Castro oil for the caddy. Okay. Yep, this is it. Let's see here. Yes. Okay, that's it. Five liters. And then we have coolant is also a good price and this is also for the caddy I think there's another car that has this reddish pink I'm not sure which one it is next so we'll do the maintenance on the caddy and I'll get that also maybe even do like a short video for Instagram and TikTok I think this would also be cool I can do a, a, like a little cool video. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Oh yes, parking sensors. So I'm thinking of using this on the Saxo for the rear bumper, installing some parking sensors, which come in handy because uh, most of all our cars have parking sensors in the back. All of them have, except the Jeep. Um, so this will also be cool, we'll do a video how to install parking sensors. Okay. I'll put this in the smaller box, see, ready reusing the boxes. Okay, and another one, because I don't know if I'm going to use this one also on the Jeep. Uh, or probably see what's going on on the Mazda, because the Mazda ones 
sometimes it doesn't work when I put it on reverse. Now I think it might be this module, which I'm hoping the plugs are the same. Or else I'm just gonna have to change the whole thing for this one. So if the Mesa one, I can get the glitch working, then I'll just install these on the Jeep and all of our cars will have parking sensors. So I also bought this um, recipient for oil. So you put the oil inside here and there's like a, let's just crack this open. So that you, um, it's got like a funnel. So my problem with funnels is that they end up always getting dust. Even when I put them in a bag, then the bag gets oiled, you know, so it's a hassle. So I decided to go with this one this time. But how do you connect this? Oh yes, okay, this connects here. You see, and it's got a little lid, so I can use this for oil. And then just clock up the, you know, the lids. And um, nothing will get in here, no dirt, no anything, so I can also... It will be always like ready to use on the cars, you know. <laughs> uh, I always use man filter because they are very good. Um, so this is the fuel filter, and uh, let me just make sure it's right. Looks too wide. Let me just make sure they send the right one. Yes, because on this Caddy model it has this. You see this uh, or this silicone rubber around and has this accessory here you see with holes all around like this funnel um normally when i go to shops they give me the older i think it's the older model i don't know if it's in another model but this 2018 it has to be this one um what is this oh these are license plate lights for the sexo to have like uh, extra um, because with this lead stuff, you never know how long it's going to last. You just see here something. Yeah, I see. So, these are the original plugs. Sorry. Yes, that's it. That's the right one. I just like to make sure before I just take it out. Yep. There you go. Oh yes, this one has rubber. See, that's why man filter is better quality. The other ones are like a, the, this material here. That's sealed, but this one's a real O-ring, eh? See, makes a difference, this, this man filter. The uh, quality is very good. It's a pity I don't get it for every single car I have, right? So I'll just go with this one. Oh, this is for the jack, you know, that I used to lift the cars. The rubber. Uh, Pug, you know, um, so I can put it on top of it so it doesn't help to not slide away. So, yes, that's just like one error, very cheap. And uh, oil recipients, yes, because I need something more round. That one I have is too low, so it splatters around, you know. So, yes, this is going to be an upgrade on changing the oil. Yes, a triangle for the Citroën Saxo because I didn't have one. Oops. Oh, rubbers for the doors on the Jeep to seal the back door and for the hood. So yes, we have two cars to work on, three cars. And pollen filter for the caddy. I also like to get this one that's against um, pollen um, particulars that are in the air, mold, funguses and uh, bacteria and moldy fungi see so that's good because then you know you won't have problems uh, smells and everything you know and this one is actually a little bit smaller because i think i've been getting the bigger one there's one that's there's two models for this car that appears i think this will be better um because the other one was quite uh too you know i had to force it in I don't think it was 100%. It did a job, but uh, I'm hoping this one will fit better. This is so that I can make my life easier. Make sure that this is all correct. Yes, there you go. So now, yes, now I can fiddle with the cars. <laughs> so I had uh, some spatulas. 
uh, orange one that you've guys seen me working on the videos but um, I have a person that also needs it so he thought it was interesting so I'm going to offer those to to someone else because he needed the tools so I'm going to offer to him so I decided because I'm going to offer let me buy another set well these ones are actually even for like oh rings and everything eh? check that out that's cool the other day I bought I bought from Milwaukee uh, cylinder gasket uh, o-ring set um, but these are cool I didn't even know to come with these ones okay comes with a straight one another like angular one hmm quite complete okay this one's actually gonna come in handy to just yank big pots and uh, and then yes these I don't have this so I can pull out the little plastic rivets this must be for like getting out radios and other stuff it could work for radios and other little things you know plugs yep wow quite complete and this one here and we still got sharp straight wow yep so i can give the other one away so i don't have to have too many tools of one thing you never have too many tools but i don't have to have duplicate i prefer to give it to people you know people that need yes now this take out those plastic rivets yoink <laughs> yoink that's gonna be cool okie dokie okay and like that i can keep it all in one set you know okay, so um 284 euros what do you guys think we got two parking sensors kits filters for the caddy three filters we got license plate lights for the saxo a new triangle a funnel recipient i thought i had ordered another funnel but i didn't that was good because i didn't need one <laughs> uh, a rubber support for the jack coolant two valvoline one liter bottles of gear oil a tool, a tool bag plastic tools a um, five liters castor oil five meters of rubber ceiling for the door the side this one goes like sideways it's like an L shape this one is straight three two meters of straight rubber and uh, yeah that's about a 284 euros what do you guys think oh and an oil recipient I don't know if I said it yes that's everything I think it's not bad for everything uh, but they mustn't increase the price or else then it's not interesting <laughs> so yes as long as the prices stay attractive I'll keep on buying through Autodoc okay. so welcome everyone to the daily last project channel how are you all doing I hope you're having a beautiful day um, continue to have a beautiful week God bless you all and um, we're starting with the Honda Civic yes type R and as you can see this is a problem that most uh, Honda Civics FN2 time had with the symbols I don't know if other Honda Civics had the same problem um, I bought a brand new one from AKR Performance um, cost 70 something pounds quite expensive for the symbol um, although it used to be in um, discount and I didn't get it at the time I should have it was 30 something or 40 something so just paid more <laughs> so um, I got the paint made to repatch this because I mean the symbol is all good there's no like nothing going this is all dust from the garage because since I cleaned it I did the last video and then I didn't use it anymore um, but um, 
it's, it's still in such a good condition. I don't feel like yanking it out. So I'm just going to repaste that with paint that I got the same. Um, I've already cleaned it up. But I'll clean it again. Whoever needs like the code of the paint. I would even send whoever needs the paint as well. But I have to get like some little bottles. To put the paint in one little bottle. And the, um, the hardener. Because it's uh, epoxy. In another little bottle. And then just mix it you know. Um, but it's so little quantity. Then you can use it for whatever you need. But let's test it out and see how it goes. And then I can see if I can help you guys out. The same problem. Or just buy a, 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 an emblem, you know, but I'm trying to save money here. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Here's the paint. Now I gotta be careful to not make a mess. So I'm just gonna put it on the floor. In case something happens on the floor. So I'm just gonna use, I was thinking of using like a sponge. Um, or maybe... Uh, I can't have like hair, but I'm also afraid of the... The brush here leaving marks, you know. So let's see what happens, and then if I have to, I'll get a little sponge. Because with sponge, I know that I don't have a problem. So I'm just going to like concentrate now. I can't get it on the white part of the car. Okay, let's do this very slowly. So the important thing is to just like blop it. Okay. Well, it's not too bad this blopper because then it's going to also dry out of it and uh, it's just going to like well I need some lights here so that's just from the hmm so what happens is that the paint is very like odd now I'm trying to fix this from like a far distance problem that it gets, you know. I uh, need now a cloth to check something out there. It's all in. I don't see anything. Just making my, sure my fingers are clean. Yep, just pushing with the nail in. Perfect. Wow. Yes, okay. So this comes out this looks like there's like a white cloud but i've passed a little cloth and it's all coming out so it just needs a little polish i think it's from the wax of the cleaning the car you see how it's like little dots yeah so that's about it eh? there's nothing else a person can do here i mean there's nothing else a person can do to patch it up then use just a you know a brush or a sponge the brush is working fine for now so just like get it like pressed up like that maybe you won't notice if it's instead of being like one blob or two just get it like that I think yeah looks better much better now you can't even notice from a distance you see yep stayed much better let's get a little blob out there there you go just unites it all together boom so i could do like the whole symbol with the brush to make sure that the the paint should be like fine in the future Probably that's what I should do, right? But, uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do the whole thing? Because that's going to dry out and it's going to look... This isn't shiny. It doesn't have a shiny finishing. So, I probably could just, like, do the whole symbol. I think it's better. Because it might be like a bit different, or maybe just I'll try to just like, yeah, I think doing the whole thing is better. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's do it. Just gotta be extra careful with the white paint of the car. Okay, dokie. 
Fuck odds. No. Not good in this, but I do have like a steady hand, you know. Not good in like painting and doing paintings, you know. If you ask me to draw something, I can't. <laughs> Just how I am. Other talents. Almost not even breathing to make sure this stays like the most perfect possible. Now, whoever's on the rear of the car will never know that this was painted like this. You really won't notice anything. And this has hardener on it, so it's going to be cool because it's going to stay very, very like secure. Using the bottom paint as a primer. Okay. Yep. The cool thing is that you just get the top part, you see. So, you don't even have to get the sides. So yes, I would advise like just paint the... Just paint the whole symbol, guys. Yeah. Just don't be afraid in. It's not worth like just patching up to stay stupid. There you go. Okay. Oh, that looks nice. It actually stayed better than I thought it would. I can't keep on touching what is already painted. That actually stayed very nice. Once it dries out, it's going to give like a a matte vibe to it, texture. Finishing because that's how the symbol was also matte. Um, it's not really shiny, you know. Okay, there you go. Now it's all shiny, and uh, once it dries up, um, it's going to be like with the matte, matte finish, and it looks very smooth. So whoever needs this paint. It's exactly the same color. I'm going to take out the. Let me pick up the other symbol to see the. The color here. Yep. I mean, the one I got, new one, is much more shiny than the older. The old one was really like faded, you see? So. It's got more like a candy look, this new symbol. Maybe they improved it or not, so I'm not sure. But you can see it was also painted, yeah. So now we'll let it dry out, and uh, yes, I think it will look much better. Oh, it's much better because it doesn't have that the floor that was right there, you know, the chipped. Yeah, very identical. Okay, it's still wet, so it looks like it's wavy, but once it dries out, it will be smooth. But yes. Very, very similar. Right on, eh? I actually got the paint made it not by the symbol of the car, but I took this one into the shop. That's like a candy. It's almost identical. Yes. But it will work, guys. So whoever needs a paint coating or a bit of paint, uh, I have like almost a litre of this <laughs> so I can use it for other projects but whoever needs just shout out okay I'll get like little bottles and just offer to you guys just like the Citroen Saxo seal for the thermostats and that whoever needs and whoever needs um, the type R symbol paint uh, I got your back guys okay let's continue the best thing is like if you guys send me a message through Instagram so that uh, everything is like private, your details and everything. And uh, you can give me your details and everything. I can just like ship it out. And, uh, I, I'm going to get like little tiny bottles just to do that, you know. It's really starting to dry out in certain places. Yeah, it's really going to look, it's going to look cool. Okay, it went well. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Go! <laughs> wow. 
Okay, hello everyone. Today, doing a dessert cream milk. Okay, so we have three quarters of a liter of milk. Okay, one liter. So it's three quarters of that. Then we have two full tablespoons of flour with no yeast, two full tablespoons of starch, and two, no, four tablespoons of sugar, okay? Refined sugar. Um, and then you can just do exercise later and burn all the stuff away, okay? <laughs> now, um, we are going to mix yeah. Everything is mixed in here already, the flour, the starch and the sugar. sugar yes. yeah. Now we're going to put some more milk in here. Just top Just it up like to that. to dissolve it. Dissolve it. Okay. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Mix and mix. I like a mix and mix. Okay, so we mix it a bit. We need to mix it more so that it doesn't get clogged up. And now one egg. So this egg, you're gonna break it up. Okie dokie. Beautiful egg. Still not the eggs from our chickens, but soon it will be. And that's why we maybe need another female chicken. Although the one that's the little chicken that's gonna be hatching the other egg, she also gives eggs. So. You mix the egg into the flour. Yes, you mix the egg into the bowl of the flour, starch, and sugar, and some milk. Okay. And now mix it all together. Let's go, go, go. Yes. And then you put another egg. Gonna put another egg because it's quite a lot, so better have yes. another egg. So just put another egg inside of one. Okay, let's go. Cool. Point. That's it. Let's go crazy. <laughs> you always have to make a mess. If you're in the kitchen, you know? If you aren't making yeah, a mess, you, you aren't doing it well. Okay. If you see that it's thin, you add yes, more flour. thin, you add more flour. More mainz. And more starch. Okay. And more sugar. Yes, and a little bit more sugar. Let's go. It's gotta be thick. We use this maizena. Sure you get this anyway. Yes. No gluten. Maybe has gluten problems. <laughs> Can't have this dessert because it's got flour. <laughs> okay. Now next step will be. The next step to see if it gets thick. If it's not thick enough, you add it another tablespoon. Doesn't start to get uh, uh, thick as the recipe. You put a. Some another tablespoon of maizena, another tablespoon of sugar, and another tablespoon of flour. Okay, everyone? And it will become thicker. So it must like doing cement, you know? If it's too watery, you just add more cement and sand. And you're good to go. Okay, testing time. Mm, it's getting quite foamy. Do you want it more thick? Yes. Do you want it more thick? You see, so look at it dropping. Yeah. Thickness test. Thicker. To do the thickness test, you see how it drops. Too liquid. Okay, so we're gonna have to add another tablespoon of flour, starch, and I'm gonna test it out. Mm -mm. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. Sweet enough. Very nice. That's sweet enough. I think it is sweet enough. Don't want too much sugar, you know. It's not good for you. Okay, so let's add a bit more flour. I want a bit thicker, so you now see it's how it's thick. getting. Now it's starting to get even thicker. You see that, guys? The more it heats up, you know, mm -hmm. the more the ingredients will thicken this up. Mm. 
Okay, so we didn't add anything to it. Now look at it, just by mixing it. Look, look, look at the difference, guys. You see? Look, but I want look, even... Look. You want it even thicker? A bit thicker, yeah. A bit thicker. Better. So you're going to keep on mix, uh, mixing until it gets thick, or you're going to add something? No, now I'm going to add a bit more, so it gets thicker. Mm. It's going to be creamy see? and thick. Look at that. Looks like from uh, Transylvania, Hotel Transylvania, that the white desserts used to scream. <laughs> so I add one spoon more of flour. One spoon of flour. Yeah, that's going to get quite thick. Okay, whoa. See, so we actually want it more thick. You see this, guys? <laughs> okay, milk. Don't forget the milk, guys. Always, whenever you put the starch, sugar. Have you put the starch already? And the sugar. And sugar. Yes, you can't forget. Okay. And you put the starch already. Yes. Okay. One of each. And now we mix it first in the small bowl. Here we go. Mix, mix, mix. Okay, and now we, okay, and now we're going to add this, so we had the, the, the oven was like, um, and you put a, a, not the oven, the stove was like on number 7 from 0 to 10, okay, and you put a, and you can put a stick of cinnamon, 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 yes. Now it's getting quite thick. Let me go get a spoon. Okay, let's go. Wow. That's a screaming dessert right there. I think I'm going to call it a screaming dessert. Hey? Mm -hmm. Wow. See? Look at this, everyone. Look, look. Much thicker. See? That's what we want. It almost turns into like a custard. Mm. Sugar needs more? Mm -mm. Once it's hot enough, because you put it in the fridge, then we spread sugar on the top and we burn it with a hot iron. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Very nice. The cinnamon. This must be a bit of the milk. Almost tastes the cinnamon. Just has to mix a bit more. Got a little infuse inside. Yeah. Put a little bit more. Yes. So it can cream up. This one stayed very nice, this one, eh? Quite thick. Maybe it's because mm -hmm. we're doing the video. You know? Came out good. Yes, let's go. Creamy, it stays more creamy when yes. you add the extra little bit of milk. Exactly. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so it's all mixed up. See? Much harder to drop. Okay, so this is the texture we're looking for. See? Look at that. It's creamy. Okay. Look, it's creamy. <laughs> okay, now we take it out. Let it cool a bit. Cool down a little bit. Then we're bit. gonna put it on this plate. So now we're ready to drop it in. This one is more heat resistant and it doesn't crack easy. So let's go for this one. I think it's really the right one for it. Look, it's spreading out evenly. It's gonna be the right height, eh? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yes. Now. Mix, mix, mix. Do it on top of the table here. You can get on video. If you actually put it on the on the the granite and you shake it now like this, you know, all the vibration from the stone to the plates helps the air to come out and flattens out more even. Okay, just shaking it up, shake, shake, shake it up, shake, 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 shake it up. There we go. Remove the stick. Remove the stick. 
shake it up a little bit more. Burn it with this iron right here. So we let it heat up until it gets like almost red and then you guys will see it. Quite cool. So check it out. This is the last part of the dessert. You do everything that was on the video. And this is the last part. So you just sprinkle a bit of sugar and just burn it out. Wow. There you go. Amazing. <laughs> Again, okay. go. <laughs> wow. So it's so hard, it just burns out the sugar, you see? I don't want to know what's your problem. What's your problem? Okay, let it heat up a bit. Let it heat it up a bit, the, the iron, and then just press it against the dessert. Okay, go. Yes. <laughs> So you get all the spots, like there's still a little spot there. Yes.